After an eight-day break, the Gonzaga Bulldogs travel to Nashville to take on the Tennessee Volunteers. The eighth-ranked Zags were looking to improve to 11-0 on the season. Less than two minutes into the game, Nigel Williams-Goss finds Jordan Matthews, who buries the three-pointer. It's part of an 8-0 run to start the game for the Zags. Gonzaga led by as many as 21 in the first half, thanks in part to plays like this. Josh Perkins hits the three right there. However, the story in this game was the ticky-tack fouls called against the Zags. This one in particular, what's Shemek Karnowski supposed to do? He's just standing there, then he has a little fun with it at the end, letting the refs know, hey, I've been in the gym pumping iron, folks. Right before the half, though, Silas Melson steals the inbounds play and finishes the dunk at the buzzer. Gonzaga led by 14 at the break, but the Volunteers wouldn't go away easily. Dietrich Mostella off the glass and in. That cut the Zags' lead to 9 with 8.40 to play. Just when it got close, Williams Goss slammed the door shut. Hoop and the harm to get the Zags lead back up to nine as Gonzaga goes on to beat Tennessee 86 to 76 and improve to 11 and 0 on the season, which is the best start in the program's history. Nigel Williams Goss led all scores with 20 points. Up next for the Zags, a home day with South Dakota on Wednesday.